Okay, everyone! It's the start. Stop. Who are you? Welcome to the Nancy Drew Marathon. I'm your host, Erin Casey Gamers, and we're going to play every Nancy Drew game in 18 days, right? Get out! I'm trying to install Stay Tuned for Danger! Get out! All right. I'm ready. Let's begin. I don't want to see you, Serena. All right. We're starting the Nancy Marathon. Five, four, three, two, one. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from New Light York City. Life. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. Not master. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets oh. Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to death do threats. some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen? Oh Daytime's my God. He's the cutest hunk. He's so I have dreamy. A suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. <laughs> yeah. In? Nancy. I'm going to be in the background of the game, you'll see. Come All on right. In, Nancy. Time to talk open. to Maddie. The door's open. Everybody's like, hey, it's open. <laughs> Maddie. Welcome to New York, Nancy. Thank I'm you. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. <laughs> oh. Um, it's yeah. nice to come back to the Big Apple. And now <laughs> the Big Apple, I'm all right. famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. I love the crusty graphics. shoots, a million lines to learn, <laughs> people all uptight and yelling. And now Rick's getting these death threats. Oh my god, we're playing this game like it's taking a second to hit that this is actually working right now. Um, well, being a star. It can't be all that bad being a star, can it? Yes, it can be all that bad. If Rick leaves the show, Light of Our Love could be in a lot of trouble. Uh -oh. Everyone's worried that the show could get canceled. Well, I hope not that. Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star Rick Arlen the eyebrows, yes. awful death threats. <laughs> Firstly, I'll shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get you. weird. Weird? What do you mean? So he's getting these death threats. Weird? They're totally hey, Jenna. bizarre. <laughs> Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, <laughs> And then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. What now? Just relaxing in this fancy outfit and heels. Nothing like that. Hey, Heather. This is the second Nancy Drew game. Honestly, the graphics were the best thing ever back then. Because you should see the first one. <laughs> she is committed to not moving her neck. Tell me about no matter what. Well... The first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. It's time. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. B.T. Kaiser. Down in the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. How so? Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously, especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. <sighs> Someone sent him. Hey, Julie. <laughs> Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and Thank you, are Julie. Boxes of candy. Thanks for 47 so months. Nasty, Rick spit them oh, out. my God. <laughs> I've Welcome. I've seen Rick say Thank no you. to chocolate before. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. And the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. <laughs> Yeah, the new game versus I'll this. i the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and the show hair the map. physics. They'll know how to get there. This, basically, this would be the Maddie Jensen wig. This is the Maddie Jensen wig. Oh, she's gone. Just like that. She's gone. This is scary. No, it's not. It's great. So we, we talk to her, and then actually we immediately go to the studio. So screw looking around. We're going to immediately go to the studio. I really have to practice my lines for tomorrow. 
She always says tomorrow in a certain way Taxi. that I kind of love. Can I take you today, miss? 1999 <laughs> Broadway, please. You got it. Oh, not him. Hey, Summer. <laughs> I should have, but listen. I didn't. I will. Yeah, I don't... There's probably a lot of you who haven't seen me play this game, so... And it's in New York City. What could be better? Can I help you? Uh, just looking. Yes, Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. Hey, espresso. You need to sign for it. You need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. <laughs> the order that we're doing, basically we're starting with this game and then uh, Secrets Can Kill is going to be the remastered one in the lineup. This game looks awesome. I agree. <laughs> Have a nice day. You got it. All right, let's go to Maddie. Now we're going to go to Maddie's dressing room. She said to meet her at the studio. They are Oh, he is. no one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. <laughs> I'll kill him before he runs out on me. <laughs> Just the lack of enthusiasm for saying you're going to kill someone. I'll kill him if he runs out on me. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't feel threatening when you say it like that. Bill Pappas. <laughs> Hi, Quigley! <laughs> Maddie Jensen. It's open. I knew it. Hey, Nancy. Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Okay, well... Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Yes. Well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet... Oh, yeah, they were theater we actors. the leads... I guess it gave us good practice the, leads. For the parts of Rory and Serena. <laughs> Rory and Serena are just like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> she is using some supersonic hairspray. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off screen or on screen? <laughs> I don't know. You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick Serena. and I are no longer dating. But uh, come to think of it, uh, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yeah, how old is You're Maddie Dan Jensen? Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. <laughs> you see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. That's hysterical. But seriously, I have no idea. It's who just could the be twin. This. The evil oh, twin. Look at the time, I've got to get to makeup. <laughs> hey, why don't you come down oh to the God. set in a few minutes? I would I'll love be to. A scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. I'd be glad to check out that scene. Okay. So let's do it. We have our key card. Let's check out the filming process. Oops. Talent exit. Nope. We're going to go to the set. I need something to what? make this work. There we go. <laughs> yes. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Wise. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on yes. The set. <laughs> Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. check. Roll tape. Check. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take <laughs> camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. <laughs> I don't, don't want, want to see you, Serena. Serena. <laughs> <laughs> the <horror>. Sheesh! <laughs> what was that? I could have been killed. Get my agent on the phone now. Not the agent. Chaos ensues. <laughs> well. That was something. I don't want to see you, Serena. That scene, first of all. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, spin left, grab the screwdriver hanging on the wall. But of course. They're impeccable! <laughs> Sheesh! I almost died! I'm gonna need this screwdriver after seeing that. There's something about it. Okay. I think we should go talk to Lillian. <laughs> we are really doing this at the speed of light today. 
So, who's Lillian, you ask? Well, she is the assistant director. Oh, no, sorry. I disrespected her. She's the director. May I help you? Hi. Yes, that hi. was really fun I'm back there. Maddie's, and I'm Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. What? But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Yeah, she is so nice. Love her and she loves me. Um yeah. so I'm going to talk to my friend about that because um now I can't get what back kind of in that. Oh. Are you running here? <laughs> my client could have been killed. I told you I could have been killed. I've already closed the set to visitors. Exactly, Rabbit. What was wrong with me for saying that? Oh. Interesting, William Pappas. Pappas. It's open. Maddie, she took away my oh, pass. Maddie, You've got to do horrible. something. There's no way that could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. <laughs> that would be so cute. too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. She needs space. Fine. See ya. I'm gonna go into Rick's room now, since you left me. Let's talk to the famous Rick Arlen, who I believe... Is he right next door? There he is. I'm too upset to deal with this. I, I gotta go. Entrez-vous. Just wait till you see this man. <laughs> Entrez-vous. Him and his freaking French. <laughs> yeah, if I had glasses that had the little thing and then the thing, I think I need to order that on Amazon for this. Uh-oh. Not Entrez-vous. <laughs> Listen. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Ew. Well, for a guy who just barely escaped a terrible accident, you're in an incredibly good mood. <laughs> of course, of course I am. <laughs> I was lucky. If you're gonna be in an accident, that's the best way to be. Don't you agree? But then I've always been a lucky guy. I just met you, Miss Drew. Oh, you flattered me. Do you really think it was just made an of clay? <laughs> I see Maddie's been talking to you about me. Of course, it was just. Yeah. An how? What's Things the like age difference here? Happen. He does have a cola on his desk. That's crazy. I don't have a cola, but I do have an ice drink. Can you think of anyone with a motive to send you these death threats? <laughs> I can think of millions. All those jealous millions. husbands and boyfriends of the women who send me marriage proposals, <laughs> cookies, and other notes d'amour. <laughs> d'amour. Why are you obsessed with French? Why haven't you gone to the police with these threats? Oh, please. <laughs> if a public figure like me went to the police every time someone sent them a nasty gram, the donut shops would lose their best customer. Oh, what? Listen, I need to take care of something, God. but uh, feel he free just to said stick that. around. Will you do me a favor, though? Stay, Stay beautiful. beautiful. Oh, I'll be sure to do that, you piece of crap. Okay. <laughs> now, okay, now we gotta already leave and talk to Maddie at her house. I'm out of here. You know what? Seems like no one wants me around anyway. Hey, I'm going taxi. to Manny's apartment. Well, lady. 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. Alrighty then. Hi, tea and biscuits. <laughs> Welcome. It's locked. Oh, I got the keys. The freaking taxi voices. <laughs> you named your child Cola. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I yeah. I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with just Rick got too really overwhelmed. me up. <laughs> I understand, but now that the studio is close to visitors, I'm at a dead end. Yeah. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. You got a point. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. You know... My agent We're going to her agent. So you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. <laughs> Story of my life. An extra on set. Uh, what's that movie I'm going to be in? If. Coming to theaters near you. You might see me walking next to Ryan Reynolds. Really? Who is your agent? <laughs> the Dwayne man has Powers. no talent. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. <laughs> 
I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. <gasps> Lil Red, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Are you a Nancy fan? <laughs> Would you do that? That is helped me Thanks, get Blue. past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Yeah, I should get back to learning, learning my, my lines, lines for tomorrow. tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> You've played all of them? That's what I love to hear, Lil Red. Yes, yes. What's your favorite one? Um, okay, so now we're heading to the agent. Dwayne Taxi. Powers. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You, you got, got it. it. It's locked. All memorized. I love that, too. Oh, yeah. So with this, um, Powers Talent. Powers Talent. There he is. Go away. But it's the pizza you ordered. ND Crafts. Oh my god, I don't know how I didn't see your follow. Thank you for following. Let me just double check that the follow alerts are working. Maybe I ran away. Thanks for hydration. Hi, Cobalt. Did you guys hear? Uh oh. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Um, water just spilled a little on my floor. Hold on. Right near my uh, computer, you know. Okay, it's all fine. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I'm here to solve a mystery and ask invasive personal questions. <laughs> hey, Phoebe. Thanks for 19 months. Yeah, the usual. Solving a mystery, but also asking invasive personal questions. That's our girl. Let's make sure that we got our follow alerts working. That is important. Thank you so much, Phoebe. How are you doing this fine day? Guys, we're already almost at the sub goal, so thanks for that. Hey, AK, it's Nancy Drew Day. Um, I just, you know, fixed these alerts for Nancy Week, so let's make sure. Let's see. We know that the sub one's working, but what about follower? It's locked. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. I think that should do it. So I don't know what happened there, but at least we got that. It's locked. I want to kind of make this bigger here. Yeah, there we go. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> ah, it's so many it's locked. I pressed it a lot. Sorry. Okay. All right, so yes, if you're just joining, we have started playing Stay Tuned for Danger, and it's my first time playing this on stream in ages, uh, especially normally. If we're talking normally, then I don't think I've played this normally on stream in like three years at least. Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm sweet 101. Come in. Uh... Uh. Ow. This place is a wreck. Also, I just want to save. Just in case. Um, it can be called... Yeah, what's the address? Protesters in a small town like this. Whatever, that works. Thank you so much for why are there protesters, Phoebe? It has to be asked today. I guess I saved. Is that how that works? Sure. <laughs> 84 years it's been. I know. Protesters in a small town is incredible. I want to add, um, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. I just ran out of time today. Come I apologize <laughs> for my abrupt greeting. Come you must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. Wait, true. Hi, Oscar. Welcome. Oh, yeah, of course I understand. I'll be happy to meet with your assistant if you're too busy. Struggling actors and all. Actually, I am in need of an assistant at this moment. Oh. I had to terminate my previous secretary. I'm afraid that my standards are rather high for most people. Or you're just out of money and you want me to work for free. 
I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. <laughs> she told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, uh, yes. Maddie just Day. called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? You're correct. Maddie okay. spoke highly of your abilities, and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if, if I can. If I can. <laughs> Normally, I don't do this, but <laughs> seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I just love I his. some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. <laughs> oh my god, Kay! Thanks for 17 months, Kay. How are you? Thank you. Welcome to the Nancy Marathon. Um, <laughs> wait, what's worse? The Old Town Hall or protesters in a small town like this? The Old Town Hall. Come on, get real. Hey, that's not Nancy Drew. So the thing with um these Nancy Drew videos is I'm going to have to start replaying them like every hour. But <laughs> we got to do what we got to do. Thanks for the posture check. George, do you mean um, the sound of music? Potentially? Do you guys hate the old town hall? <laughs> uh, Rick Arlen. How long have you known Maddie? Maddie and I go back over eight years. We met doing summer stock at the Belfry Theater upstate. Aw, yay. She went on to play Juliet with a touring company and I started this agency. Summer stock, I know it well. Would you say that you, you hated, hated the old town hall? <laughs> yes, I hate the old town hall. Who's with me? Thanks for the bits. <laughs> You're Rick Arlen's agent. You're Rick Arlen's agent. Yes, you used I was. to be. But I must confess that the man, man has, has no, no talent. talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd <laughs> never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick foolishly well, believes that's part acting of it. is a status symbol, not an art form. It's He's art. A Hone your craft. He'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock. Well, Nancy, you what did she must just be say? anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Dwayne now, the please Rock. Please excuse me. Powers. I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. <laughs> I know this game is extremely quotable. Okay, so he just kicked me out. Love that. So I guess what I'll have to do is head back in and check in with Ralph now that I am an actor, officially. Taxi! I could get Where back. Can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Wait, oh my god, I also forgot he has the same voice as Joseph. Can I help you? So you're saying Dwayne does. I mean, he is right. True. I don't want to see you, Serena. Yes, you did miss that. <laughs> um, I'm an extra now, so. Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Hi. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter. You so told I can me. Log You've in. mentioned. I will. Oh my god, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's been ages since I watched that. Like, truly ages. Not since I was but a child. Thank you, and uh, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. You may proceed. She does. <laughs> Barely has to interview. But remember, she doesn't always get paid. <laughs> oh no! There's a fire in the studio. We have to pull the alarm. But first... We love our Lord and Savior, Big Island Mike. We love. We love Big Island Mike. My name is Joe Hardy, and I love my daddy, Big Island Mike. Let me please make you a snow cone. What's your favorite flavor? Oh yeah, I'll figure it out for you. Don't you worry, there's nothing I won't do for my Big Island Mike. Spam your Big Island Mikes. Whoa, whoa, ha, ha, ha. You know what else I forgot to do? Because I don't often do this anymore. But now that I'm in the official Nancy Drew Discord, we gotta send our playthrough link. We gotta say that we're live. So let me do that right now. Oh! 
Coco, you've done it for me. Thank you, Coco. Um, I'm going to also write it. Thank you. I'm live with the series playthrough. Twitch.tv slash Aaron Casey Gamers. Oh, did that not work? It didn't. I got to get an actual link. Please hold. Do 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 There is a Nancy Drew official Discord if you're not in it. Um they have been posting it on their Instagram. It's probably there's a link in there somewhere. Oh my god, thank you Oscar. There's a link. Thank you so much for the follow on YouTube. All right, I'm about to put this in the Discord. Um, full series playthrough begins. There we go. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Back to our game. <laughs> yes, it has been a long time. And Coco, thanks again for that. So, we have to pull the fire alarm. Need something to make this work. You literally have it. Why do you keep saying that? I love that song. Um, we're gonna save. Yeah, what's the address? That, apparently that saves. Um, and then, let's do something crazy. Welcome, Silver Shade. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the marathon. I'm about to do something crazy. Why not take a crazy chance and fire? Oh. No. Now that we're what all deaf, they've confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. <laughs> oh, I should have been oh, more man. careful. Yeah. Well, better luck next time. I just hope there'll be a next time for Rick. <laughs> True. <gasps> Petey! Petex Games gifted a tier one sub to get coffee. Thank you, PD. Thanks for gifting a sub. And, well, that's the sub goal. Can you believe it? Thank you. We just hit it. So, guess I gotta freaking update that. Love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love whenever I alt tab, it just becomes dead silent. That fire alarm was something else. What? I can't hear you. Guess I have to stay in the studio. Sorry. Thanks again, PD. Thank you, everyone, for all of the... Oh, I did it again. And she did it again, where she accidentally changes the number of subs gotten instead of the goal. There we go. <laughs> hey! Oh, God. And now we have to ban. Cheap viewers and followers. We don't need that right now. You're done. <laughs> Goodbye. Who let the bot in? Okay. <laughs> Second chance. Okay, if we start over. Can hey. I help you? This again. <laughs> I've been hired as an extra by the powers agency. Here you are. <laughs> You'll need to sign you for tell it. him it's Lufisra. You need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. <laughs> Ritualized bloodletting. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Who could forget about that? Um, the Mayans were pantheistic. Work. <laughs> Whoa there! Thanks for the bits, Brandon. Also, did I officially say hi, Rachel? If not, hi, Rachel. <laughs> um. Okay. So now that we're in here. We, oh yeah, check in with Ralph. We actually don't have to go here yet. We go to the prop room. There was a time when I got soft locked on this part. 
something with the timing in the prop room. If you know, you know. But let's hope. It's, it's open. open. It's open. Yes, my dear. Mm, I love her. Well, mm, hey. I need to get something for Maddie from the prop room. Okay. I see. Well, I don't just let Hold anyone on. enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. <laughs> Listen to my Rachel riddle, and, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. Soft as a pecker that falls it's from a tree. tree. The more I, I dry, the, the wetter I'll, I'll be. be. What am I? Okay, let's think. I'm in the prop room. Gotta get those crazy wire cutters or else I'll be out of luck. I won't do that. I know better. This is the 2024 marathon. I will not get soft locked. No, no. You can't trick me. Old lady, what's your name again? Oh, shoot. We will not be fooled this time. We will not be fooled. We're gonna soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? Well, why doesn't it tell me? <laughs> Towel. Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. When you look at my face, it's easy to see. You're looking at mirror. Me when you're looking at me, hey, what am I? You're a mirror. Oh, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Let's try another one. I run all day and never, never walk. walk. I tell you something, but I do, do not, not talk. talk. What, what am, am I? I? Um, you are a a clock. That's it. I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite a mirror assumed. again. <laughs> you may go and enter the prop room now. While Thank you. I go and unpowder my nose. <laughs> what does that mean, Millie? That's her name, Millie. So I'm going to grab pliers under the bottom right corner of the map. Grab pliers. That's what you need to do. The map. The map. Bottom right corner of map. <laughs> and the doorknob. Okay. So. Doorknob. Got that. Now, I do remember a map, but where... Oh, this. Yes. Yeah, pliers. Okay, we've got both. Great. <laughs> so, once we do that, solve the puzzle in the treasure chest, which is right here. Uh, right here. It's open! Oh, exactly. If you forget the pliers, you are doomed. Truly doomed. Okay, so we got to figure this out, which should be easy enough. Um, hmm. We want to get them all over here. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to um, maybe do that, do that. Uh, oh, or purple. Eh. Wait. It's going to have to be, put this one over here, and then that, and then that, and then that. Then the green one over there, the red over there. Um, no, the red first over here, purple over here, red over here, brown, red. 
purple, red. Red! Yes. This is where the speed run dies. Listen, I'm I'm lightly speed running. <laughs> oh my god, there's quicksand in so many games. And for what? When am I gonna find quicksand in real life? So Okay, we got that. Get the clock hand. Now we're going to enter the stage area and fix that clock in there. <laughs> I'm speed jogging, if you will. Uh... Time to go back in. <gasps> now, here's the soap opera set that we know and love. Oh... We forgot the oil. It actually doesn't tell me to get the oil on this one. Um, it just says the puzzle, the clock hand. So we should be okay, I hope. <laughs> and now we make it. There we go. <laughs> Maybe. So, anyway, we got to put this at the 11th position. I should set the clock. You really should, but how? This is going well. I should set the clock. I should set the clock. I should set the clock. What else did we need on this? I'm amazed by the things I don't remember. Amazed. Um, Cause it says, use the clock hand on the grandfather clock at the 11th position. <laughs> okay, so that means if I just click it there, it's really that simple. <laughs> I got a key. I'm going to the control room. That was easy. That was easy. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten the key, let's head on up to the control room. It's locked. And we will do two, five, four, one, three. We, oh, we will do one, two, three, four, five. We're in. <laughs> Nancy Drew is wigged out. Get it? Hello. It's me, Hillary Clinton Wig. How are you, Matt? <laughs> Goblin, what is that? <laughs> Gotta love easy buttons. So, we have got to open up... The power box. Oh, right here. Turn it on, I suppose. TikTok. I'm good. I'm literally here, TikTok. Uh oh. Um, basically, I'm just hoping that this doesn't skip over any scenes. I'm good. How are you? I remembered it just like that. <laughs> yeah, TikTok always does this when I play Nancy. Grab a tape from the shelves. Okay. There's that tape I was looking for. And we got to power up the generator as well. 
Okay. And that should be over here. We will use our key to power up a generator. Right over here. Look at this whole coffee section. The craft services. Oh yes, here we go. We're in. Oh, but this. So to power on the generator, one, right, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Woo! Okay, so the is stuck. we need the oiling can. Does it still go if I do this? No. Interesting. So once we do that, we press the button. Um, oh, yeah. And then we're, we're going to take the lift. So let's see. Try this again. We're going to go behind this couch on the set. We've opened up a secret passage in the night. Yeah, I hope we don't skip the haunted mansion scene. We got to try to make sure of that. Look what I discovered, everybody. Okay. We're going to end up somewhere crazy. I'm in the prop room. What the? Who's Owen Spader? We're already here. <laughs> oh, it's right. Locked. I actually did see um, that we will... I think get the fire scene in Haunted Mansion. Okay. So let's go back to the stage. I honestly want to go to Rick's room. Because um, I want to make sure we don't skip that. Hopefully it's not too late. But we'll see. Let's talk to Rick. Over here. He's not there. Hmm. You can skip the fire. It's open. Let's just talk to Hi, Maddie. Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. <laughs> As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left <laughs> from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me no a No one in this town believed in her. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, oh, okay. The good, good. Mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. Typical I guess Rick. To help him get out of his contract here. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. You no want Big Island Mike? Names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Love. Who's our crush in this one? That no, is such a I good question. My, my name is Joe Hardy, and I love because there's a lot of wretched people. <laughs> Let me please make, make you a snow cone. cone. What's your favorite flavor? Oh ah, yeah. I see I'll Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. Don't you so, worry, are you trying to get nothing. discovered, or are you just hard up for, for a job? Big Island Mike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Lillian is a girl boss. It really depends. Um, I would say out of all of them, Maddie Jensen, because Dwayne Powers is Dwayne Powers. Rick is Rick. 
Uh, is my TV paused? Oh, potentially. Uh, Lillian's an a-hole to us. Oh, I don't think it is. I think that it's just a still image. <laughs> That's why. <gasps> the prop lady is our crush. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm working with Dwayne Powell. I'm actually an actress agency. now, so. I heard he's a really good agent. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. Don't get your hopes up too high. It's not like you're working for commercial artists or Edison <laughs> talent. We use Dwayne whenever we need someone right away. Usually extras or gophers. Gophers? If we really need talent. We call someone else. Are you saying extras aren't talented? Well, can you tell me something about <laughs> Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something <laughs> about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. So you know him. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. You do that. Fine. So... You know what? I'm leaving this place. We're gonna go back to Maddie's house right now goodbye hey taxi where to lady 72 26 lexington avenue please on my way <laughs> yeah it's really locked. lillian offending extras everywhere so let's go to maddie's house we've got to get a few things here we'll look in here the remote. I will be needing that. Get the remote. Oh, wait. I think. Yes, I got a package. Nancy, I hope you are enjoying your trip to New York. I thought you might find this tape of interest to your case. It's a TV interview with Rick Arlen on a soap opera news show. You know, for a young lad. He's quite fetching. Take care and be careful, Nancy. With love. Hannah. <laughs> yes, Auntie. Oh my god. Okay, I love this tape, so let's watch it. Hannah sent us this tape of Rick. Rick's interview. I love the interviewer's voice. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios Broadcast. with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be, be killed, killed off, off the, the show? show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind Mons. leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie, Maddie Jensen. Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage <laughs> love affair has led to an off-stage romance? <laughs> She's so good. Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in, in the, the near, near future? future. Oh, no. Not while I'm <laughs> with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker. stalker. Is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. He's such a prankster. Oh, Oh, Rick. I mean, honestly, I use that interview to um, inspire my accent, so I can't even say anything about her. Love her. Um, how late am I streaming tonight? As late as I can. Nothing crazy, but probably like 10 or 11, I want to say. <laughs> A real housewife. <laughs> Is it true? What does she say? I love her voice. Um, tapes. Okay. Watch both tapes. Oh, we do have two tapes. So there's one more to watch. I forgot about this. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. What do you mean, girl? I would be surprised if this worked because I don't think it does oh oh my god it's gonna be the best thing ever look at owen speeder tiptoeing around tiptoeing around <laughs> owen speeder tiptoeing around that stance 
Nothing will ever be better than that. Oh my god, there he is again. Wait. Hold on. Who is that? That guy looks pretty familiar. And he looks a lot like Owen Spader. That's suspicious. <laughs> On my way to get a little snack from the kitchen. Oh, I always wished that I could go in here. Just walking like a regular human, of course. Ooh, yum. Homemade chips. Wait, how do you make homemade chips? That is an iconic walk in the series. Okay, we're going back. Back to the set. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Okay, this part. Can I help you? Hello. Hello. Here's, Here's my, my pass. pass. Thank Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You, you may, may proceed. proceed. <laughs> We're gonna go to Rick's room. Oh, this way. Da -da. Wow. I gotta make my own chips. I'm a chip girly. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hello? Oh, this is weird. The door's cracked open a little bit. I better go check it out. Um. <gasps> I have chills. Die, Rick. Blow your body to smithereens. I love that so much. Um, um, good thing I have a screwdriver. We've got to get out of here. The cover is on too tight. Fast. And grab the screwdriver every single time. Can't keep it in our hands. Got to keep putting it in our pocket. <laughs> um... I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't go off, you know? <laughs> Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that will blow your body to smoke. Maybe on a metal one. To die, so they can have I know. She's gonna blow! <laughs> She's gonna blow! So I guess we should probably fix that. Let's try that again. Hello? <laughs> Let's listen to it also one more time. Oh, I never saw those. Hello, Rick. Don't try to run from me. Don't run. My first warning. Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that will blow your body to smithereens. Maybe or a nemoloin. What the heck does he say after that? Um, I need something to clip the wires. Oh, right. Wire cutters. So, yellow, red, orange, blue. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow? Question mark? Huh? Yellow? Well, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Huh? Use the pliers. Hello? Let's try that again. <laughs> Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that will blow your body to smithereens. Okay. There's the explosive device that will blow my body to smithereens. Okay, yellow. Yellow, red. It's a weird little hitbox. Orange, blue. Phew! It was pretty scary okay, for a minute there. And then what happened? 
Once I defused the bomb, the game was about to crash. I called the police, and I was stuck at the station for hours. For they hours. The and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. <laughs> oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a you copy know of the tape. It sounds like Sour things kiss. have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got That's another Ned. call. It's That's Ned. That's the police. Ned. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Miss Drew. This is Bill Pappas. Bill Pappas, I'm so run. glad to be speaking with you. To thank you for your quick thinking and of course. Today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Thank you, Mr. Pappas, but it was nothing really. Just all in a day's well, work. I believe you're very brave for what you've done. I can't help but wonder, though, what you were doing in Rick's room. Um, it's open. I found what can I say? Open and let myself in. Yeah. Nancy. Can I call you Nancy? I, <laughs> I love that line. I Nancy, can I call you Nancy? Rooms. That is my name. Um, well, perhaps you should enforce better security then. I was what? testing your security. Hey, ever since Rick started getting threats, we've taken every measure to ensure his safety. We've even hired more security after that accident in the studio. I just love this voice actor. Can you answer some questions I have? Uh, no. I'm oh. very busy at the moment. But seeing what you did today, mm, I guess I owe you one. Maybe. What do you need to know? Um, uh, nothing. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pappas. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. I don't think we have to talk to Pappas. I could be wrong, but I don't think we do. Calling Dwayne. I don't remember doing that either. Do we have to do that yet? I don't really know. But... We are going to switch it to nighttime. Let's do that. And then go to Dwayne's office. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> this is a new cool part of the game where you just have to, um, you know. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got Reveal it. the map. Okay, here I am. Interesting. We're going to have to get in here somehow. I think I'm going to have to... Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Not today, thank you. We got to find the person who wants Hello? pizza. Okay, none of you ordered a pizza, I guess. Well, someone over here must have ordered a pizza. Not today, thank you. You too? <gasps> Grumbly! Grumbly! It's about time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up! <laughs> that really was like a response for me. No, listen, I don't blame you. That was really loud. I understand. I need something to make this work. Um, how about a key card? Oh my god. I'm in! We should snoop around Dwayne's desk. Wait, who does he represent? Look at all these people. He is a great agent after all. I know. Apologies for the buzzer. Was not a pleasant sound. I need to get into this man's briefcase. Oh, this always looks like I clicked on this one, but I didn't. You know what I mean? I guess it it shouldn't look like that, but to me it always looks like that. So, I somehow just know his briefcase number. It's kind of crazy that I just know it so well. I got to look at it last time I was in here. 663 0 <gasps> What's this? Some keys, a check for $5,000, a notice of eviction. Hmm. 
That's suspicious. Looks like you're not doing well financially, Dwayne. <laughs> Just one, two, three, four. Good old one, two, three, four. Okay. So, but this is, f oh, a loan from Maddie Jensen. Okay. So it looks like he's not doing well. I think that we saw every paper we were supposed to see in there. I think. Maybe we could do it one more time just in case. Four, three, seven, seven, six, six, three, zero. Six, six, three, zero. I don't think we're. Oh, wait. That's a glitch. The keys popped up again. Oh, okay, yay. One other thing. Please be advised, your account is over 120 days past due. We've tried numerous occasions to contact your office, but you refuse to turn our calls. Return our calls. We will be seeking legal recourse. You'll be hearing from our lawyers. Yeah, well, I don't have money. What can I say? Okay, I think that's it. <sighs> I know. Poor Dwayne. No clients to be found. Hmm. Okay, so what we could also do is hack into the studio. If you want, we could also look around his office a little bit. What's in store now? Rick Arlen leaving daytime? Why does he have something about Rick in here if he doesn't represent Rick? He loves chess. He loves musical theater. The Angry Man. Love that show. <laughs> yeah, I can't pay, mister. What else? Oh, right. We did get these keys. Let's look at his client files. Owen oh, Spader. Wait a second. Hmm. He's a camera operator, technical director. Trish, welcome to the stream, Trish. Playing through all the Nancy games. I'm going to give myself a little wig break from being Hillary Clinton <laughs> and show you my true colors. Dwayne the Rock Powers. That's who we're dealing with right now. Um, okay. Freelance theater. So it looks like he's on the technical side. <laughs> um, well, then I would have to comply, Brandon. That's it. Hey, Melanade. Wait. Oh, I didn't see Melanade's message. That's strange. Oh, it's Spader. Okay, so nothing to worry. He's just one of Dwayne's clients. Maddie Jensen. You could. Now this, ooh, our town, a doll's house, or just doll's house. Nora, wow, good for you, Maddie. <laughs> I love this, seeing her resume. Romeo and Juliet, Midsummer Night's Dream. What are her skills? Elizabethan drama, dialects, aero, aerobics. <laughs> I'm like, aerobatics? The less awful... Wait, what is that? Is that like... What is last exit to Brooklyn? Um, good with children and animals. Kite flying. Lizard wrangling. Our girl is a woman of many talents. Rick... Oh my god, what does that say? Oh, Rick Abertuski is his real name. Hmm. He was bottom in Midsummer Night's Dream. It, wait, wasn't Midsummer Night's Dream and all that, wasn't that also um, in Secret of the Old Clock? I thought. Bye. I, honestly, it's Lufistra. I might still be live when you wake up. <laughs> Have a good night. Oh, there's his headshot. Canceled. He left him for a big agency. Wait. There's my Nancy Drew. 
Have Nancy Drew fill this out ASAP. Still got to do my paperwork. Yeah, like, isn't, um, what's his face? Isn't, or he played bottom, I think, in Midsummer Night's Dream as well. Thank you for the stretch. Thank you. Impressive resume is right. Probably, Charlay. Okay, let's go. Taxi. Here. Where can I take you today, miss? miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Where can I take you today, miss? Also, let's save because I keep seeing the game glitch a little. Gotta make sure. Okay. I'm gonna go... <gasps> Whoa, Allie! Oh my god, thank you so much for subscribing on TikTok. Thanks, Allie. We also have two new emotes, Your Fool and The Trumpet. Thank you. <laughs> I know, right, Blue? <laughs> Something's just slightly off. Yay, TikTok sub. So let's go into here. Uh, Tiptoeing around. I'm going to hack into Lillian's room. Sorry, Lillian. That's what you get for being mean to me i get to go into your room <laughs> and what shall we do in here i'm gonna log into your computer first first of all okay log in name millie wwb nights oops sorry that's her password. I shouldn't show you that. WWB1958. Oh my god. I forgot that we logged in using Millie's login. <laughs> Always like the real pictures on the wall. Oh. Wait, I don't got that. What about your floppy disk? What about that? What about your mail? Trying to locate a bearded mustache ensemble. Wondering if you might have it in your prop room. Okay. A bearded mustache. Looked like Owen Spader was wearing such a thing. So that's how we find our way into things. Oh my god, this. An abstract little note. Oh. Let's print the reports. Why not? Oh, then we have a backwards note here as well. We don't have to uncover any of those, but I do kind of want to. Printer. What do we got? Oh. Okay, this is the reports of security. Am I just going to leave it in there for her to see that I printed it out? Um, look up employee number. We got to also do that. So let me go back in. Millie WWB 1958. Look up employee number. Wouldn't it be Oh. Settings, production list, question mark. Oh, the, um. oh, 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 I got to look up Owen Spader's employee number, I believe. 72001, re-enter, oh. 3186720001. Three one eight six seven two zero zero one. We're in. It looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Interesting. 
That's a dead giveaway. <laughs> okay. We got the receipts. But there is some more. Oh, we got this too. There's been an A number of incidents dealing with the compromising of secret codes. Hmm. A date with disaster. Miss Strathhorn. A word of warning. If a member of the studio is caught sharing sensitive company information, she will be he or she will be immediately terminated. Where can we find out a little something about Lillian? <laughs> there is a way. Oh, can we take any of these tapes? I love when games have VCR tapes. New threat, monster. There's got to be something somewhere. I just want to show you guys the T of Lillian. Yes, VHS tapes. <laughs> this is a very short Nancy Drew game. Yes. I forget how we see, but basically the T is she used to date Rick. But maybe we'll figure that out later. Regardless, let's get out of here. And go back to Maddie's. Yeah, this is definitely one of the shorter games. How long have we been at it? Not even two hours yet. Hey, taxi! Where what can we? Seventy-two twenty-six Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. It's locked. Oh, I got the key. That always catches me by surprise. Oh! You rang? Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Wait, what? That is the end game. Okay, just like that, everybody. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to go... Back. Taxi. That was well, easy. Take day, miss. 1999 Broadway, please. It's locked. Okay, going through the side entrance again, which is three, six, eight, nine. All right. Well, guys, this is end game already. Let's use our key card. I need something to make I this see work. our Miss Snoop has shown up. <sighs> Lillian. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. Hey, King I can Jared. See right through you. Yeah, well, I hope you can see through the act of whoever's sending these letters because I just got one. Can I see it? Do you still have it? Thinking of blackmail my pet? Not if I get to you first. Do you really think you'll find out who I am? And here I thought you hated Rick as much as I do. But you're still in love with him. You're still sold on his stupid smile and good looks. A puppet disguised as an actor. That's what he is. A phony. A ladder climber. But he'll fall so far down no one will be able to find him again. I'll push you down too, Lillian. Whatever is in store for Rick will be coming your way as well. So stop playing detective and pretend this never happened. You'll be much happier and more alive if you did. Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. <laughs> oh, interesting, Andy. <laughs> I didn't listen yet, AK. Have you listened? Who's it gonna be? Here's the thing. So this was our our first game that we are attempting for the marathon. I don't know if I like going through it this quickly. Like, I don't want to do a true speed run, and I kind of accidentally did, and I should have known. So we'll keep that in mind for the next game. Message in a Haunted Mansion is next. You know, I don't want to take too long, but I also want to, like, get all the plot points in. So, you know, we live and learn. Who do we? Th I think it's Rick himself. I believe it was Rick. Hey, himself. Steph. I would never have thought it'd be Rick. Uh. Wow, I'm really talking about how it's Rick. 
Well, once I came into the picture, Rick realized I'd see through yeah. his phony letter writing campaign. His ego could never bear the thought of being caught red handed, so he set out to force me off the case, even if it meant murder. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's Dwayne Powers. <laughs> I love it's this him part. up in the control room, <laughs> and he's locked us in. Lillian, hide. Hi, hurry! Hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your deaths will make a wonderful <laughs> end to Act One. I love this ending. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. One Death to Die. Why, Dwayne? Dwayne, why? Why, why do you hate Rick so much? Maddie and Lillian have more reason to hate him than you do. More reason than I? Rick Arlen has to die now. I... Because he killed me. He killed Dwayne Powers. So you were behind this campaign of terror all along? I wish I could take credit for it all. But it was really Rick who started it. He sent the first letters <laughs> I know. to draw publicity <laughs> for his failing career. And Lillian, of course, was kind enough to supply him with the tainted chocolates. You see, Ms. Drew, everyone hates Rick. I'm doing the world a service by getting rid of him. Oh my god, don't kill him, Dwayne. Dwayne, don't do anything you'll regret. There's still time to let us go. No. I made them stars. I did it all. And how did Rick repay me? By leaving me and destroying my business. Once he left, I lost all of my clients except for Maddie. All of them? Seriously? What about Owen Spader? How did you pull this off? Enough. Words, 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 words. You will soon see that I am a man of action. Yes, Steph. I'll come down for the final close-up. <laughs> I'm going to write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Okay. We're going to let him. Oh, my God. How scary is that? The red light? Faces, everyone. <laughs> uh. Hurry, Nancy. <laughs> sorry, Lillian. Um... I'm just gonna let him take me. <laughs> words, words, words. Oh my god. This is such a good ending. The thunder. He's coming down. Well, let him. Think, Nancy. Think. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. You're toast. Nothing. That's it. It's Are all you ready over. For your final close ups. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Lillian died. I'm what about me? Get you, Lillian. <laughs> Where is she dying exactly? <laughs> it gives you a lot of time. <laughs> this is the true ending. Really? Okay, maybe I have to at least try. I'm coming to get you, Lillian. Um, I just I'm coming to get you, Lillian. What about me? What about <laughs> It's curtains for you, Miss Drew. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. No. No, don't. No. <laughs> oh my god, the evil laugh. <laughs> Enough. Words, 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 words. You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final I know. close up. I'm going to write you They two basically out of never forever. went that dark again with the ending. So sorry about your short-lived <laughs> career, Miss Drew. Um, okay, this time <laughs> I kind of want to see it again, everyone. but <laughs> I got to get out of here. I'm fast. Open up in there. Open up. Um Open the override lock. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Another buzzer. Sorry. 
Sorry, everybody. It's coming down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Think. One, two, three. Four. Oh, phew. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, um, did it work? Time's up. It's curtains for you, Miss Drew. There he is, our What's man. Going on in here? Hey, you. This is the guy we've been looking for. <laughs> Congratulations, Nancy. You solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Great Forget job, Ralph. About it. Forget about it. Now, case closed. Dear Bess. Another mystery solved. Wow. Dwayne is now awaiting no. trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has I love moved this out pick. to California and is directing her first film. But the best news oh, is about yeah, Maddie it's best. and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Roy. Guys. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on I was so nervous them. for There's the first game. I'm a little bit sad. Nancy. I just breezed through it. Of course, girl, you're reading the speed run route. So we could play again or we could just keep going and we could always come back to it if we feel as though we have time to do so, which we probably don't.